Good morning from LAX with Mallory. It's currently, what time is it? It's 6.21. It's 6.21 a.m. Our flight's boarding soon. I should not, I'm doing great for the fact that we didn't go to bed I'm last night. <laughs> we didn't sleep at all because we had so much to do. But today we are going to Israel and Jordan for the next 11 days with Contiki, which I will tell you guys about later. Um, but basically they're a really awesome travel company and I'm so excited to go on this little trip. We are flying into Newark and then heading all the way over to Tel Aviv. We have a long, long day ahead. So plenty of time to catch up on sleep and mm -hmm. hopefully do a little more work. Good evening ladies and gentlemen. Once you have located your seat, we ask you that you please step out of the aisle for the passengers behind you. Alright, so we have made it to our first hotel in Jerusalem where we are staying for, I think, th is it three nights? Yeah, three nights we're gonna be here. So today is the first day people from our group are getting in, I guess throughout the day. We got in kind of early-ish at like 11 a.m. So um, we met up with a person who was holding a Contiki. Also, I realized right now, do you know how to, is it Contiki or Contiki? Cause in my head I've said con, like Contiki. I think it's Contiki cause that's what that girl was saying. Well, the girl, there was a girl earlier who said, I thought she said Contiki. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, realizing right now I'm unsure how to uh, pronounce this company name, we'll find out tonight when we meet our tour manager for the group. So basically, um, if you're unfamiliar with Contiki, Contiki, they are a group travel company for people between ages 18 through 35, and they have guided trips throughout pretty much everywhere you could want to go to. So this is actually their first Israel and Jordan trip, which I'm really excited about because we're here for 11 days, bopping around, we're going to Tel Aviv, but like, Sea of Galilee and uh, what else? Petra and Jordan. Petra and Jordan. Oh, that's another thing that's exciting about this trip is this is one of their um, trips going to the seven wonders of the world. So there's one of those, I'll insert a photo here, in Jordan that we are going to. We kind of have a free day. We met some of the people in our group earlier because they had a little airport transfer set up for us, which was nice. And then tonight we meet up with the rest of our entire group and we have a little meeting with everyone and then I don't know if there's a dinner or what, but yeah. So today's just our free day. We just get to explore on our own. Um, shout out to you guys who have been DMing me suggestions about stuff to do here. In particular, shout out to Rebecca who sent me like list upon list of stuff to do in Jerusalem and Tel Aviv. So um, we're about to take her advice and head over to a little market, I think, and gonna go to a little coffee place and get some food. Also, I'm gonna have the trip that we are on linked below if you wanna check out the itinerary and the tour dates and pricing and everything like that. So let's go. So we're currently uh, calling the first, our first ride share using the Git app. That's what you guys recommended to me. So we're gonna hope it gets here. Oh, they're unavailable. How are they unavailable? Wait, they accepted it. Left. <laughs> Hold on. This is the place, and I noticed online that the sign didn't say English, so I memorized what like these letters look like, those five, so that I could find it. All right, so we made it to the little market area. It seems to be just a bunch of streets with cute little shops and restaurants and bars. Mallory has uh, researched her food. What is it? I think it's called a, wait, I don't want to butcher this. Hang on. I know, I feel like I'm butchering everything. She spotted this like dish thing. It's like a puff pastry with potato and cheese in it or something. Burikas. Burikas? Burikas? I don't know. Do you want one? A pastry with potato or cheese inside. Mm. A nice man gave us baklava. It was amazing. Um, yes. This is huge, but looks so bomb. Outfit of the night. We're going to meet up with our group and our tour director. <laughs> Morning. It is our first full day here in Israel, in Jerusalem. Today we have quite a sightseeing day ahead, going to a lot of religious landmarks and stuff like that. Um, so therefore today we had to 
uh, wear long pants and cover or like cover your knees and then cover your shoulders. We have a day full of tours ahead. Um, tonight Mallory and I sign up for a light show thing that'll be fun because um, with Contiki there's a lot of stuff already built into the programming but then they have some optional excursions as well that you can add on. So one of those is tonight. <laughs> which is the highest viewpoint overlooking Israel. And then here we can see the wall around the old city. Um, and we're gonna head down there and go inside. in because I did not vlog this well but after lunch we visited the Western Wall which is considered to be the most religious site in the world for Jewish people and then we had some free time to walk through the streets in the old city where there are a ton of shops Whole Foods has nothing on this spice selection going on and lastly we went inside this church that I'm unsure how to correctly pronounce but it was built where it's believed that Jesus was crucified this is number 12. This is believed to be where Jesus was crucified together with the We're back at the hotel, just woke up from a little nap. We've had quite a day of sightseeing. It was really cool, just from a religious perspective, getting to see like the streets. Jesus walked down, like carrying the cross, and, and there's a church now where it's believed that he was crucified, um, and like where the tomb is. So they've like now like kind of not rebuild that, but they like kind of have a like monument to honor that, I guess, inside the church. Yeah, we walked. I think like five miles so far today, or six. I feel hurt expectedly, but we were about to just get a bite at the hotel and then meet up with the rest of our group for an optional excursion tonight that I'm pretty sure most people decided to go on that's some light show back in the old city. <laughs> <laughs> Is this, what, what a oh, man. Man. No, you're <laughs> Cheers. Oh, wow. Woo! Cheers. Woo! Cheers. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. All right, Operation Find Seeds. Yeah. Don't lose each other because it's dark and we'll never find. It is our second and last full day here in Jerusalem. Today we're doing a little bit more sightseeing and we're going to Mount Zion, the Holocaust Museum, which will be really interesting, um, and uh, a couple other museums, I believe. So today it's actually supposed to be colder, which is nice. We're gonna go get breakfast downstairs and then we're gonna head off. Mallory's laughing at my yawn. <laughs> <laughs> um, if I'm right, someone came home and went to bed last night. So I <laughs> We're at the Holocaust Museum now. It's our first stop of the day. Filming's not allowed, so I'm doing this fast and I will see you out. Zima Epstein, 11 years old, Russia. I see aroma. I want it. 
this car from PETA just flew over here down this hill. <laughs> when in Israel. Find yourself some of that. Museum, but it's wrong that it's closed. Oh, <laughs> is it closed? It's closed. It's closed. So sad. It's it's closed. closed. It's a holiday tomorrow. It took too long. It's a holiday. Okay, guys. Memorial Day. Yeah. Like we are standing Day. at the Kidron Valley. We're back on the hotel floor again. <laughs> it's now 4 p.m. I realize I have not done a great job vlogging so far and I can attribute that. Typically when I go on like tour trips in the past, if, as you guys have seen like Greece vlogs and like a Spain and Portugal trip, um, two rounds of Greece vlogs, two summers in a row, where you're like in a tour group with a bunch of people and like meeting new people, I realized I've always been with another YouTuber so like we're both vlogging and we like, it's not like as, not that it's awkward, but it, I don't know, being like alone vlogging, it's very, it's just different, you know, you gotta be bold. We're working on it, it's good. Everyone knows about YouTube stuff now, but there's always the first like 24, 48 hours of like a tour trip where no one knows and then just kind of like, what are you doing, you know? But then everyone catches on and then people like ask questions, think it's cool and whatever. So um, going forward, we're gonna work on making this a little bit uh, better and more footage. Basically, it's just been like two big sightseeing days, um, which has been really cool as a Christian getting to see so much of like where stuff took place. For me, one of the coolest things so far actually was yesterday seeing the Garden of Gethsemane because my favorite sermon of all time from when I was in college in Chapel Hill at Summit Church. JD Greer gave a speech. This was like my junior year of college, I think, or maybe even sophomore year. It was like the week before Easter, he did a sermon all about this. Always around Jesus's time in the garden before he ultimately was crucified. So that was just very interesting and moving for me. A lot of stuff has been, today, like I said earlier, we went to the Holocaust Museum um, and I've been to one in DC before, but I was a lot younger and, and at the time I remember like, I didn't like read everything. I just kind of, not like rushed through it, but I definitely didn't pay the attention that I should have um, going through it then. So we had an hour and a half at the museum to go through just like the main part of it. And me and Mallory and another girl were the last people to come out because we were reading like absolutely everything. So yeah, it's been lots of sightseeing. I've just been taking it all in. A lot of things have been like humbling or like moving, like I said. So it's been a little difficult to like pull out the camera and like explain what we're doing and whatever when it's kind of just like a deep moment and it's like kind of hard to convey that to a camera. And I don't want to come off like at the Holocaust Museum, like laughing super like lighthearted and fun about something that's so serious. Our optional excursion last night to the light show was so cool. So today we um, signed up for a boat cruise in another city that we're going to in a few days. So lots of fun options there. And yeah, I'm just having a great time so far. Our trip has meshed so well. Most people on this trip are from, I would say it's like half split between like Australia and the US being like the most prominent, but then there's people from like New Zealand, Belgium, Canada, um, the UK, and just a big spread. It's really nice because I like listening to accents. We have a little bit of downtime now after our day exploring. We keep going back to that market that we went to on the first day for just like snacks and food and like drinks and whatever. We went the past two nights which has just been like a fun little chill place to like get drinks and chat and whatever. So I'm not too informed on this, but I've been told tomorrow is they have a holiday here. It's like the Memorial Day for all of the soldiers who have died. And I think some of the group's gonna meet back up downstairs just to like a little hotel bar to hang out for a bit. That's what's up. <laughs> um, yeah, folks, these could be my last words. <laughs> Not really. Um, I've been getting what I thought were mosquito bites over the past, or I guess just yesterday, these two mosquito bites popped up on my ankle, of course, because mosquitoes always go for the ankles. But like immediately following one on like the back of my ankle, like I don't know how to describe this other than like it like swelled up and was like hard and hot and like a blister. So that happened yesterday and it's been quite the situation with that. And then the other one I thought was just a regular mosquito bite until a few hours ago I noticed it had blistered up because it was like my skin felt just like tight like under my jeans. I was like why does my like the front of my calf like feel weird. And yeah it's because it had blistered up too so now that one is doing gross things. <laughs> and now my entire ankle is so swollen. I have like a cankle on one leg and I don't know what's going on. I don't know if I should be worried. Please look at one ankle compared to the other. Oh, and my other um, unharmed leg now has two places on it that look like they could be in the beginning stages of like all of this again as well. So we're gonna hope for not that. Yeah, I don't know what level of concern I should have. I don't know if you can tell a difference. Here we have ankle. Here we have no ankle. We have straight down. The mirror actually is the best. Uh, representation here. You see there, very defined ankle, ankle bone. Then over here, <laughs> we have no definition. Um, 
quite the swollen joint there. So, um, am I dying? We ended up just hanging in our hotel lobby, so not much else to say right now. We're going to kick it into tomorrow. Good night. Okay, so my original plan was to somehow have this video be in only two parts, one on this channel and then one on my main channel, but seeing as I have two hours of footage, that is not possible. So, we're concluding this vlog with our departure from Jerusalem. Stay tuned for part two on this channel featuring our visit to Nazareth, the Sea of Galilee, the Jordan River, a really fun town called Tiberias where we happen to be on Israel's Independence Day and then our journey into Jordan. A lot more is happening after all of that, but that's just what's coming up in part two. So thank you guys so much for watching so far, and I will see you in the next vlog.